Okay, um, so uh, this is the uh, calibration workbench. I won't going to go through all the settings for um, uh, some of the other workbenches. I thought I'd just crack on straight with the calibration. Uh, you can go through the wizard. Um, I generally prefer to go through the various steps in the calibration workbench. So um, that's the first option is uh, pattern settings. Uh, the pattern is set to uh, six uh, by 11. Got to be a little bit careful with that. If you, if you get those wrong, I mean, these are the defaults and it just works, but if you change them, then it won't be able to see this. This, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's superimposed the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and sort of cyan uh, marker. So the software's picked up all these squares. Um, but the, the rows and columns um, refer to the uh, internal rows and columns, not, not the max, not the total number that are on the um, actual grid. Anyway, um, so we can do a scanner auto check. So, which is sort of uh, the same auto check that it runs in the wizard. So just for the sake of um, completeness, we'll run the auto check. So, you, uh, so I've just pulled up scanner auto check and then hit start. Excellent. Scanner configured correctly. So uh, that's good. Um, all the motors going in the right direction. It can see the pattern. Everything's good. So um, after the auto check, the first calibration item is uh, laser triangulation. This is quite an important one um, by all accounts because obviously this profiles exactly. The lasers aren't perfectly aligned. They should be as perfectly aligned as you can as you can get them by eye. But um, that's not going to be good enough for accurate scanning. So uh, it uses a grid pattern and this particular uh, um, calibration routine to accurately um, work out where the lasers are, are actually pointing. So if we start this, it moves it 90 degrees in one direction and then steps through a little bit slower. There's a little bit of a, dela uh, a delay between the uh, platform moving in the video feed, obviously, because it's just a web camera. So it's moving it round. There's a bit of flare, sorry, off the um, computer monitor screen. So if you can see the laser flicking off, the, that's just obviously because the laser's um, going off the top of the actual uh, calibration card and hitting the monitor behind it. Okay. So it's pretty much done that. It's just going to rotate the uh, checkered pattern out of the way. Okay, and it's done that, and it comes up with these two uh, these two planes. Uh, the two numbers it's come up with are almost identical, so they're obviously fairly aligned. Point. 0522 and 0 0.0534. So uh, accept that. Platform extrinsics. So hit start. So this is the next um, and last calibration routine. As the um, checkered pattern rotates around it'll it'll the pattern it'll lock onto the pattern any second now so I don't know if you can see that on the video camera but at that point at about 45 degrees the um, it locked onto the uh, checker pattern and it's tracking the pattern as it rotates around in front of the camera I think this uh, calibration routine um, estimates the center of rotation by tracking the um, Tracking, tracking the pattern as it rotates. So about 45 degrees, it'll lose the pattern. Yeah, so it's gone now, it's lost it. It carries on rotating for a little bit further. Cool, it says platform calibration 
calibrated correctly. Except that's a bit, you've got video settings here, um, but that just sets the rotation direction, horizontal, vertical flip, uh, width and height. Uh, but that I've already set that up. Uh, I haven't bothered with this particular one at the end. It, um, I, I don't think it's that necessary. Okay, so what I'll do now is um, that's pretty much the calibration done. So now I'll go on to do uh, the scanning workbench. Um, get rid of that. Okay, I'll be back in a second while I'll do the scanning workbench. Cheers.